Hello and welcome. Here at Passmark Software, we are excited to introduce our latest hardware product, the PCIe Gen 4 test card. This cutting edge tool is designed for load testing and troubleshooting your PCIe slots, ensuring they operate at optimal performance. With the PCIe Gen 4 test card, you can check if a port supports Gen 4, Gen 3, Gen 2 or Gen 1 speeds, benchmark the maximum speed of the slot, confirm data transmission to and from the PCIe host slot, check that data can be transferred without error, which is useful for compliance testing, check that the system remains stable under long periods of load, concurrently check multiple PCIe slots at the same time, Provide more enhanced reporting and control of your errors due to AER or advanced error reporting. And use the card as a traffic generator to generate PCIe bus traffic, which allows signal integrity to be monitored. Typically, this would be done by also connecting an oscilloscope to the bus and verifying the eye diagram. So let's take a look at what's included in the box. Firstly, a getting started card with a guide to downloading relevant software and drivers. Secondly, a USB cable for the JTAG programmer. We also have the JTAG programmer for firmware updates. And lastly, the PCIe Gen 4 test card. Our PCIe Gen 4 test card is compatible with Windows 7, 8, 10 and 11. You'll need the PCIe Gen 4 test software for Windows, which requires a 64-bit driver. For testing a PCIe x1 slot, you'll need a PCIe Gen 4 riser card extension adapter, as our test card has a x4 edge and can't fit into a x1 slot. Please note that the extension adapter is not included with this kit. Multiple PCIe test cards can be connected for simultaneous loopback and benchmark testing. Multiple cards can be differentiated by the device instant ID, which is a unique identifier assigned to each PCIe device. PCIe Gen 4 supports 16 gigabits per second per lane with each lane allowing simultaneous data transmission and reception. While a four lane connection provides a raw bit rate of 64 gigabits per second, this figure only indicates how fast one bit can be transferred without considering protocol effects. The practical throughput of PCI Gen 4 devices is reduced by protocol overhead, encoding methods and link management, which limit the available bandwidth. Additionally, system level delays from the operating system and software further decrease actual data transfer rates. For more detailed information, please refer to the official Passmark page on practical throughput. The PCIe Gen 4 test card also includes LED lights on the card. These indicate LED1 link up. This indicates a successful and operational PCIe link. LED2, I.O. error. This lights up when there's an error on the PCIe link. Power, 12 volt PCIe. This shows that 12 volt power is present on the PCIe slot. And lastly, done. Used for debugging, remains off during testing. Electrostatic discharge damage. To prevent ESD damage, use an ESD wrist or ankle strap, ensure it makes skin contact. Connect the strap to an unpainted metal surface on the chassis. Avoid touching the adapter against your clothing, since the wrist strap only protects against ESD on your body. Handle the adapter by its bracket or edges, avoiding the printed circuit board and connectors. Using the PCIe Gen 4 test card. Step one, installing the test card into the PC chassis. First, ensure the computer is completely off. 
insert the PCIe card into an available PCIe slot. Step 2. Installing the Passmark PCIe test card driver. If a Passmark PCIe test card has been installed on the system previously, the device drivers will be automatically installed and the installation is complete. If the driver is not installed, download the latest device driver from the Passmark PCIe Gen 4 test download page. Then, start Device Manager by selecting Windows Start and typing Device Manager or through the control panel. If the PCIe test card has never been installed before, it should appear as PCI Serial Port under Device Manager Other Devices. If the PCIe test card already has drivers installed and you wish to update the driver, then it should appear as Passmark PCIe Gen 4 test card under Device Manager Passmark PCIe Gen 4 driver. To update the software for new installs or outdated drivers, right click the device and select Update Driver Software from the drop down menu. Select Browse My Computer for Driver Software and enter the location of the device drivers. Click Install. After successful installation, a window will be displayed indicating that Windows has successfully updated your driver software. Step 3. Starting the test software. To test your PCIe slots, use the PCIe Gen 4 test software. You can download the latest version from the Passmark PCIe Gen 4 test download page. Once downloaded, open the standalone application by clicking on PCIe Gen 4 test. Test options. 1. In the loopback test, the software sends 256 kilobytes of data to the plug and reads it back from the card. It then verifies the data and reports any low-level communication errors. 2. In the benchmark test, the application sends and receives data based on the buffer size specified in the configuration options window. By default, the buffer size is set to 8 megabytes. For optimal results, the test application will use a buffer three times larger to perform three simultaneous transfers. Testing with Burn-in Test If you have access to a licensed version of Burn-in Test, you can test your PCIe slot with the Gen 4 test card. With the PCIe Gen 4 card installed, launch Burn-in Test. Once running, select the PCIe 1 test from the menu and hit Go. From there, you can see the bytes sent and received, write speed, read speed, and total max speed. Our PCIe test card features Advanced Error Reporting, or AER, which provides advanced error reporting and control compared to the basic PCIe error reporting scheme. This feature helps monitor and classify errors, helping in the assessment of the PCIe link's integrity. PCIe errors are categorised into two types, correctable and uncorrectable, each affecting the system differently. Correctable errors are automatically detected and corrected by the hardware without impacting the overall functionality of the PCIe interface. The system recovers from these errors without any need for software intervention or data loss. Uncorrectable errors, however, can compromise the functionality of the PCIe interface potentially leading to unreliable transactions or links. These errors are further divided into non-fatal and fatal errors. Non-fatal errors disrupt specific transactions but leave the PCIe link itself operational, while fatal errors render the link unreliable. With AER enabled on our PCIe test card, any error captured triggers the device to automatically log these errors with AER and report them to our test application, notifying the user of any issues with the link. This feature in our PCIe test card ensures comprehensive error detection and reporting, enhancing diagnostic capabilities. The full list of errors captured is listed in the table below. For more information or to purchase a PCIe Gen 4 test card, visit passmark.com.